On the Path to Climate Resilient Development, Nepal's pilot programme for climate resilience. Nepal is known around the world for its Himalayan mountains, a global symbol of overcoming challenges to reach the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. Due to the visible fading of its white caps, the Himalayan mountain range has also come to represent a serious problem facing the world today, the impacts of global warming. Nepal is among the climate vulnerable countries because of its position and high mountain range. It is considered more vulnerable than other countries around the world. Snow and glacier melt from the Himalayan mountains flows into natural springs, which for centuries have been the main water source in many of Nepal's remote villages. Signs of glacier retreat high in the Himalayas are raising questions about how climate change is affecting water supply in some of the most remote parts of the country and what it will mean for these villagers in the future. A study on climate change and watersheds found that water availability in the region will become less predictable than in the past. This study was commissioned by a project on climate resilience of watersheds, part of Nepal's pilot programme for climate resilience, PPCR. Nepal is one of nine countries participating in the pilot program for climate resilience, financed by the Climate Investment Funds and led in Nepal by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Environment. The essence of programs such as PPCR is to contribute, helping revise or reconstruct our policies, at the same time devise mechanisms by which the people on the ground are facilitated to build resilience in their own community circumstances. The poorest people are among those suffering the most from climate change impacts with women and children at the forefront. Through PPCR, the government of Nepal will help communities build water storage tanks and ponds to conserve water to use in peak demand times. Communities will learn how to protect watersheds through better management of forests and vegetation and change farming practices to retain water. The component on resilience of watersheds will help up to 40,000 people find the most appropriate, long-term solutions to water resources management and put these solutions in place. From this experience, we can find the best techniques to use in other parts of Nepal. The pilot program for climate resilience is also tackling the problems of the changing patterns of rainfall and temperatures that farmers face while making decisions on what crops to cultivate and when to plant and harvest. <laughs> The project will help farmers reduce climate-related production risks by providing them with two types of information. First, 
timely weather, flood forecast and hazard warnings so that they can react more quickly to weather events. Second, farmers will learn about climate change and how the rise in average temperatures will affect seasonal patterns in the future. This information will help them make decisions on how to change their cropping patterns to adapt to climate change. Another initiative of the pilot programme for climate resilience will engage the private sector in delivering extension and services to farmers to grow climate resilient commercial crops. The project has so far provided practical training to about 11,000 farmers on sugarcane farming techniques, a value chain that was analysed to be less vulnerable to climate risks. Another PPCR project is building knowledge on climate resilience for both central government and local government. We are conducting uh, uh, training programs to district level planners, local level planners, even community level planners to make them understand what will be the impact of climate change, how they, they will be able to make their plans and programs more climate resilient so that we can achieve those objectives of uh, a national Adaptation Programme of Action to make Nepal more climate resilient. As well as training up to 800 local officials on climate change adaptation, the PPCR project on mainstreaming is looking at how to integrate climate resilience across multiple sectors. The project on mainstreaming climate change risk management is also bringing new approaches to building knowledge about climate resilient infrastructure. A core group of sector department officials and specialists have analysed the vulnerability of roads, bridges, irrigation systems, water supply and sanitation systems and urban construction in eight case study districts to identify the priorities for adaptation planning. The findings of these case studies will be used as the basis for reforming sector plans, technical standards, policies and guidelines. These efforts will help communities find cost-effective ways to prepare for climate change many of which they are already finding through traditional practices. For example, where rural mountainous communities have difficulties fetching drinking water, rainwater harvesting is a traditional adaptation practice being rediscovered as a solution to increasing access to water for household purposes. <laughs> अलिअलि तरकारीहरु लाएर खानलाई यसो कपडाहरु धोको यसो नुवाको पानीहरु यसो राखेर अलिअलि तरकारी हुन्छ अब खानी पानी लिन जानलाई समस्या छ क्लाइमेट चेन्ज इज अ ग्लोबल प्रब्लम बट हाउ टु अडाप्ट इज अ क्वेशन दट मस्ट बी आन्सर्ड इन इच कन्ट्री कम्युनिटी एन्ड हाउसहोल्ड Through the pilot program for climate resilience, Nepal has set out a path where climate resilience is considered at every step in striving towards its development goals.